Welcome people, this is Spiritual Warrior Ministry, Royalty, Power, and Success in Christ Jesus. Today's message is why the world, why the people of the world cannot accept the gospel and cannot accept or receive the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not that the unbeliever can't, he can but it's very, very difficult because the devil has blinded his or her mind. You know, you know, it's crazy because a lot of people don't don't understand how mind control works and the good chemicals that exist in the brain of all the stuff that the world does. The drugs um, full of entertainment and just stuff that creates a whole chemicals of dopamine and other feel good chemicals for the brain. And the more and the more and the more and the more we start feeding this type of, um, um, you know, uh, reaction in our brain, the more we're going to crave it, the more we're going to hold on to it. You know, how many people of the world just listen to demonic music or infatuated with demonic rap, uh, demonic, you know, sounds. And it's not to criticize them. It's not to condemn them. It's just when we look at the spiritual side, when we look at the, the, the spiritual realm, we we know that something else is going on, you know, in our brains, you know, and the devil comes as an angel of light, you know, he was very gifted. He, he was really gifted in heaven. He was the most beautiful angel. Um, and he was in charge of music and he was in charge of, of worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know he was clothed with so much so much um um you know um material you know rubies emeralds you know all that it, all he was clothed with it and it's not to glorify him in any way because you know only Jesus Christ deserves the glory he's no one but the the point that i'm trying to make is He's very smart. He's very smart. You know, he's the accuser of the brethren. You know, he, he's very smart to manipulate people. He's very smart to control the world. He controls the world presently. What makes you think that, you know, he's going to let people go, you know, um, a lot of people go towards the Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to blind them. He's going to blind them with, um, you know, physical things like entertainment, drugs, media, music, um, anything that, that we give in or that influences our mind because that's what he's after. If he can control our minds, he can control us. And if he can control us, we don't have the ability, we don't have the conscious thinking. And thinking about, you know what, like the Lord Jesus Christ. And we, we don't have any comprehension towards the gospel or the Lord Jesus. So not only that, but the Father also. The Father... The Father has spread His sheep all over the world. It's scattered. And we're, we're no better than the people of the world. This video is not to condemn, it's not to shame, you know, the people of the world. Because we were once there. We were once there in their shoes. We were once lost. You know, and it took either preacher or an evangelist or it took mostly the spirit of god the holy spirit 
and the Father to take us out and bring us to the Lord Jesus to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's all up to the Father. But he desires that no one should perish. No one. He wants everybody to be saved. Now we all have free will. You know, we were once there too. We were once there not comprehending the gospel. Not comprehending the Lord Jesus Christ because we were lost. We were manipulated in our ignorance. Um, we were mind controlled in our ignorance. You know, there's this one thing to um, ignore the gospel out of ignorance, to not comprehend the gospel out of ignorance, and to reject the gospel out of ignorance. That's a totally different thing. So just mentioning that so people won't, people won't get scared of that issue. But let's get into scripture. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 2 to 4. But if our gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. You see, the people of the world are lost. They have a veil. They have a veil upon their mind, on their eyes, their ears. They cannot see. They cannot see the light of the glorious God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes we, as Christians, and we as believers, you know, we were there in their shoes. Let's not forget. But sometimes we have that, um, how would I say this? This, this pushy feeling and forcing um, people to accept the gospel or forcing people to be saved or forcing people um, to um, basically giving a, a, a religious mindset or a religious portrayal of the gospel towards them. You know, forcing them into the gospel. And that shouldn't be it. We should let the Holy Spirit do the work. We should let the Lord Jesus Christ do the work. Yes, we can preach to them and all that and whatnot. But let's not forget who does the saving. The Lord Jesus Christ does the saving. The Holy Spirit convicts them. The Father. So what's the point of this video? It's just to give awareness because some people, let's say, are troubled. Are troubled in mind because they don't really understand why, you know, others don't believe or why others don't come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, we were once in their shoes. It's all up to the Lord. If he grants conviction, if he grants them in their heart. It's just a lot of people, a lot of religious Christians are forcing people of the world, are condemning people of the world um, with a forceful gospel. Everybody has their will. Yes, there was a time where the devil had our minds, you know, um, mind controlled us for a time. And now this video is not to discourage for, you know, for people to have hope in their family members to be saved or their friends to be saved or their co-workers to be saved or strangers to be saved. No, this video is not to lose hope in them. It's just to give awareness 
to be patient because sometimes we expect people and we seem to develop a mindset where it seems that it's because we have come to the knowledge of the truth, it's easy for us to say now, you know, it's easy for us to think, you know, that they can do it just as quickly. But let's not forget what we went through, how the devil manipulated and mind controlled us for a very long time. And it took the Holy Spirit, it took the Father, it took the Lord Jesus Christ. It took ministers, real ministers of the gospel, real preachers to come and capture us up. So people, this video is be patient, be patient. Don't turn into a religious um, person preaching the gospel. Be patient with them. Still be in hope. Don't look to condemn anybody, you know, because there's a bunch of people that, you know, can turn really into a self-righteous spirit. You know, we're all guilty of this. That, you know, we, we can turn into, you know, this, how would I say, is this spiritual prideful person where we think we're better than the world or because we've accepted Christ, we're better. Or because we're awakened, we're better. That's not the truth. You know, the only thing that sets us apart is the Lord Jesus Christ. And because we believe in Him. And we recognize that we are nothing without Him. That's it. That's the only difference. But people, it's just keep awareness. Just be aware. Be patient. Don't have a self-righteous religious spirit towards preaching the gospel or looking at another person of the world and saying you know um and all these all these religious things don't come with a, a forceful attitude now it doesn't mean that we should diminish the power of the word of god no it doesn't mean that it means just be aware, have awareness because they're blinded by the devil. And so we were once too. And we must understand and have that heart for them, that compassion for them, and that patience, that long suffering for them. As much as the Lord has had when we were in the world. That's all my message. Like comment subscribe share this video we're gonna attack the devil we're gonna bring as many souls to the lord jesus christ this year and many more years to come have a blessed day